Hello and welcome back to Unbiased Magic Reviews. Today I have another relevant magic review for you. We're going to be taking a look at Buzzwords by Dan Harlan and Melbourne Christopher. Hey. <laughs> you. Dude, you're amazing. Dude. Oh. <laughs> Buzzwords is the ideal trick to perform in your Zoom shows. It's fun, it's quick, and the method is impenetrable. A list of words and a prediction are shown to the participant. These never leave the frame and are never switched. And I've written a letter on each one of these cards. There's okay. absolutely no way that I can change it. I've committed myself, so I'm gonna try and keep these both on, on screen at all times. The participant is asked to name any number to select a random word from the list. Four, so that's mend. So puma. Every word is completely different and the process always remains the same. There's no hot rod forces or any other weird processes, which means that if you wanted to, you could repeat this trick again and get completely different results yet your prediction would always be spot on. This clever concept is so versatile that not only will you get the buzzwords presentation, we've also included a live performance in front of an audience of Dan Harlan performing something with this exact method in a very different way. I don't want you to do it, but I want you to imagine that you take the crayon and on each one of those cards, you're gonna draw one of the letters of the word that's in your mind. Open your hands and look at your cards. <laughs> no equivoke, no extra lists or predictions. Any number can be named and this will still work 100% of the time. I just want you to check these, uh, like they've all got totally different letters in. They're all completely different, right? Yeah. And, and there's nothing on the back. But all these words are drastically different. The only thing they've got in common is that they've got four letters. They can't see this, okay. but look, I'm just gonna reach over right. <laughs> and I'm gonna show them that there is a letter A. This effect is clean, direct, has no moves whatsoever, and it has the most beautiful principle at its core. Put the buzz back in your Zoom shows with Buzzwords by Dan Harlan, Milbourne Christopher, and P3. All right, for $10, you can pick up this 43-minute instructional, which is currently trending in the number one spot on Penguin Magic, and you're going to learn two versions of this prediction type effect. The first version is taught by D. Christopher, where a spectator thinks of a number, you show them a list of words, they count down to the word that is at that position, and you reveal to them that you've predicted that ahead of time. It's perfect for close-up, your favorite video chat, such as Zoom, Skype, uh, or FaceTime. The second version is Dan Harlan's take on Milbourne Christopher's original effect called Double Cross, which is taken directly from Dan Harlan's Lesson 36 of Tarbell, is called Intimate Magic, and you may have picked that up from Penguin Magic for $10 as well. In fact, what they did was they took that first effect uh, from Lesson 36 that Dan Harlan put out, and they simply just added it to this download. So if you are interested, the original effect by Milbourne Christopher can be found in Tarbell number three. In that effect, you take out a piece of paper, you rip it up into small pieces and make two piles. The spectator selects a pile and holds those in his hand or her hand. You then take the other pieces of paper and you draw some crosses on them. You burn those and when the spectator opens their hand, they're surprised to see that those blank pieces they were just holding onto now have crosses on them. This was the starting point for Dan Harlan, and his idea was instead of crosses to use letters and have the spectator think of a word in their mind, and as a kicker, not only do they now have 
cards or pieces of paper in their hand that have letters, but those letters form the word that they're merely thinking of. Dan Harlan's version is perfect for parlor or stage, and there is an element of dual reality involved, so something you may wanna know about. You are getting a lot of value for your $10 because you are getting two versions of the effect. My initial impressions were that I thought the effect was okay. Um, I did get positive reactions from it, but I didn't like the revelation. I thought it was kind of anticlimactic, and I thought it was very ambiguous. Uh, this was pretty much what I thought it was. There were a few little nuances of the effect that I didn't pick up on myself when I watched the trailer. That being said, I thought it was pretty transparent. Uh, the people I performed it for, they were totally fooled and they didn't figure it out, but um, most lay people are not going to figure out the uh, stuff that you show them. Um, personally, I like prediction type effects where you put a prediction out and you never have to handle it again. Those are the type of effects I really like a lot more. Uh, so I'm gonna try to answer a few of the questions you probably have about this download. So first off, how difficult is this to perform? It's really beginner level, it's really easy. There's really no sleight of hand involved at all. Um, in either version, it's really almost self-working. Um, so I can see why a lot of people would like that. The spectator does seem to have a free choice and there are no switches involved. Um, are the props examinable? Um, in terms of the version that uses a list, it's not really examinable, so it's something you may wanna know about, but it is a good version that you can perform over Skype or Zoom. I did perform it close up and nobody asked to see the list or mess with it, so I didn't have any issues with that, but it's something that you should be aware of. Uh, the other thing you might want to know about is are there arts and crafts involved? Very minimal, if you want to even say that there are. The effect, of course, is not repeatable. Um, so it's like one and done type of effect. What are my recommendations to you guys? So I've got a couple of alternatives for you in case you're interested. The first of which is by Max Maven, and that's called a choice opener. You can learn this on his Penguin Live act. It was the first effect that he performed. He introduces a box with two dice. He lets the spectator shake the box and they can see that the dice really are changing inside the box. He has somebody shake it, they open it, and they've come up with a number. He has a scroll that's been on view the whole time and as he unwinds the scroll, they can see that there are words at different numbers. Each word describes him, which is why he uses this as an opener. When they finally get to the number, that the spectator has chosen randomly, it says your choice. So there is no ambiguity in the prediction. I think it's a strong version of this plot and something you may wanna take a look at. My second recommendation is for those people that don't wanna carry any props with them, they want a close-up version of this, I recommend Nick Einhorn's Digital Force Bag. This is a version that I've been using for quite a while always get strong reactions. If you're not familiar with it, basically you have the spectator think of a number, you take out your phone, you open up your notes, and you may have a list of people, a list of objects, or a list of places. They scroll down to the number they're thinking of, and amazingly you have predicted ahead of time the object or the place or the person that's at that number. Now, I know a lot of people don't like magic apps or phone magic, but I just mention it because you don't have to carry any props and it's excellent for close-up and I've gotten very strong reactions from it. Okay, my last recommendation for you guys is probably my favorite version of this plot and it's by Jay Sankey and it's called Divided Attention. Now, this is a version I learned years ago you do have to carry around a little bit of props, but it is definitely worth it. Um, I actually built a whole routine around it, a multi-phase routine, where I did a second uh, phase that used a friction pen uh, as part of the revelation, just to make the whole effect a lot stronger. Um, in that version, which Jay Sankey, of course, didn't invent, he took an age-old principle and just applied it. But in this version, you put out a prediction, you bring out a strip of paper, 
and you tell the spectator that you don't want them to see the words yet because you don't want to influence them. You have a pair of scissors and you run it down the paper until they say stop. Wherever they want is where you cut. In fact, you can let them change their mind a few times. And then you show them that in that position, you know, either the top or the middle or the bottom, wherever they wanted to, the word that is cut there, you've predicted it ahead of time. What I really liked about the effect was that everything is totally examinable. Uh, you, I would send people home with all the props, except for my scissors, of course, which was really nice. Um, it was extremely fooling. I got the biggest reactions from it. And to this day, I still perform it. And like I said to you guys, I actually built a multi-phase routine around it, um, which is extremely strong. I didn't do the prediction as a word. I would actually do it as a, I would do a drawing, a picture as the revelation, which made it even stronger. And especially when you do the, re when you do the prediction in real time in front of them. Um, so this gets my highest recommendation if you are interested in this type of effect. Getting back to buzzwords, uh, buzzwords I would rank as, I would rate that as three out of five stars. And the main reason is because I told you guys that I thought that the uh, revelation was anticlimactic. I didn't really like that, although it is part of the method, so there's no way around that. I thought that Penguin Magic priced this download just right. I think that this is worth $10. And I think for those people that are looking for a very, a user-friendly version of this type of plot, I think that you're gonna like it a lot. And I have to admit to you that road testing this, I did get positive reactions. As always, I try to road test everything I review for you guys because I want to be able to tell you guys either, yeah, this worked great or this really didn't work and I don't recommend it and that's why I do that. And that's why I'm trying to give you guys really unbiased reviews. So as always, if you have any questions, just let me know or any comments. Thanks so much for tuning into my reviews. I hope that you have found this useful and I hope this will help you in your decision of whether or not you should pick up this download. Thanks guys and I'll see you on the next review.